This is Ford's Blue Oval. It's a badge that should be on the front of almost every Ford vehicle. But the fact that it's been missing from some Ford vehicles kind of points to why car prices across the board might be going up. Let me explain. See, WSJ recently revealed that Ford delayed deliveries on some of its trucks because it didn't have the blue badges to go on them. Now we don't know exactly how many vehicles are awaiting blue badges, but what we do know is that Ford has said some 40 to 45,000 of its vehicles are currently awaiting parts. And it's not just Ford. Companies across the auto industry have suffered from parts shortages. That means that instead of selling vehicles, they're having to store them, which is affecting their bottom line and causing the price of some vehicles to go up. So is this a blip? Are vehicles going to be more expensive and more prices ever come back down? Let's find out. Okay, let's start with what parts are in short supply, because it's not just brand badges that are causing these holdups. EV startup Lucid had to slash its vehicle production targets after it said it was struggling to get hold of enough glass and carpet for its cars. By the way, if you want to see how supply chain problems are specifically impacting EV startups, then go check out the video I made. Over the summer, GM also said it had to hold shipments of around 100,000 incomplete vehicles because they were missing parts, including semiconductors that go in everything from the engine controls to controlling your windows to the infotainment system. Those have just been in really, really short supply for going on two years now. That's WSJ Autos editor Christina Rogers, who told me that getting hold of parts was only half of the problem. Not only are they having trouble getting parts, but the parts are getting more expensive just because of inflation. How much more expensive? Well, Ford recently announced that inflation-related supply costs in the third quarter was costing the company $1 billion more than expected. Everything is going up, so the suppliers are, you know, facing higher commodity costs themselves, and they're in turn passing that along to their customers, and their customers happen to be automakers. So what can automakers do to address these rising production costs? Well, firstly, they can create stronger partnerships with their suppliers, like chip makers, to try and strengthen that part of the supply chain. But secondly, they can also create new relationships with multiple suppliers of similar products to try and guarantee supply. I just talked to the Volvo CEO who said that they've started dual and even triple sourcing parts to ensure that if one supplier has a shortage, they won't just be left hanging. And finally, they can just put up prices. Yeah, sorry. Ford has raised sticker prices on the electric Mustang Mach-E SUV and F-150 Lightning truck. Lucid has said that the price of its Lucid Air is increasing. GM has taxed $6,250 to the price of the GMC Hummer electric pickup truck models. And Tesla has raised the price of a performance version of its Model Y SUV three times this year. And even if a car's price doesn't go up, you still might see something different at the dealership. They're also just not offering discounts. You know, this is an industry in which in normal times you could expect, like if you walk onto a car lot, you can get some kind of discount. Not anymore. So is this a blip or are prices going to stay high? I get this question a lot. <laughs> if you're waiting for prices to come down, you could be waiting for a while. We've never seen anything like this in the auto industry where you've had such a prolonged period and where prices have been this elevated. That said, if there's a big recession, I'm sure, you know, you'll see prices take a hit. Here's the interesting thing though. Even if inflationary pressures go away and automakers sort out their supply chains, Christina told me that some of the automakers that she'd been speaking to had said they still wanted to keep supply constrained and not flood lots with cars. So low dealership stock levels may keep car prices high for quite some time. 